So we have a nuke that has laying workers. I wanted to show the club what it looks like. I run five frame medium, uh, nukes are generally five frames. I run all mediums. So this is the equivalent of a 10, five over five, if you were to have deeps. So I'm adding smoke. So this colony, this colony started off as an after swarm. A member contacted me, said he had a, a swarm that hived and it swarmed again, it swarmed again, again. So this colony started off with a virgin queen and a cluster of bees and I had drawn comb. So I was excited and watched. I figured it would take about a week, two weeks for the queen to go out, get mated, come back, start laying. Two weeks later, I came back and while my other hives, you can, yep, just show, yep, my other colonies were going and being busy. This was just kind of limping along. And in the middle of the week, there was a cluster of bees right here, just not to anthropomorphize, anthropomorphize. I always screw that word up. They just look depressed. There were a bunch of bees right here, not doing anything, not active. And when I came in and looked, uh, there was no queen, there were no eggs. The workers were just collecting a little pollen, but collecting nectar and there wasn't a lot going on. So I figured we had a problem, had an issue. The queen didn't uh, get mated, didn't return. So I came back one of my colonies over here swarmed and there were a bunch of swarm cells at the bottom. I grabbed a, a frame with brood and swarm cells and added it back to this colony. And they were, it, it seemed like they turned happy. They were busy, they were productive, things seemed to be going well. And then yet again, came in two weeks later, they were, they were cap queen cells, came in two weeks later, no eggs couple of days later checking on checking on them again no eggs and a week after that came in and started to see larvae and eggs but sporadic pattern eggs all over the place drones on my last inspection drone cells so we have uh, laying workers in here so I want to show the club what it looks like So there isn't necessarily one lane worker in here. There's going to be a whole bunch of them. If this is a small colony. It's not really worth my effort to try to build them up for spring. It would take a lot of work and a lot of resources to build them up. And I'd rather just strengthen up, strengthen one of my, one of my other colonies and go that route. So this is just a teaching. Piece for me to show the club it's a learning experience for me it's a learning experience for the club and but this colony is not going to make it and it's not even worth the Herculean efforts to go down as I always do in my inspections when I work a, a colony one of my own colonies I go down to the bottom box and work my way back up so there's looking down here. Ari, can you come around this side? Yep. My youngest daughter, Ari, is the uh, going to be is, is handling the filming today. Have a colony. Have uh, these frames. Not a lot of activity. No bees around. I'm looking down. I don't see any cap root. I already know what's in here, so I don't need to um, pull all the frames. So I'm just going to put this back up. By this time of year, even with a swarm that was doing well, I'd expect brood and huge numbers of bees and you, you're just not seeing them. It's a small cluster, not a lot going on. And again, very little activity across these five frames. So let's look over here. And I'm keeping this down just because it's, uh, we're right here and Ari can see and hold the camera for me. 
and since I don't have to worry about clutching a queen, I'm not going to uh, be as gentle with this one. But get a full frame. And what do we see? Scattered brood, uh, scattered queen cells. Uh, no, these are drone cells. Uh, queen cells would be hor uh, vertical. These are coming out horizontal or flat rather than up and down. So these are drone cells, but yes, very good. You notice that these are different types. And I'm just looking in and I'm seeing them, you know, backfilling with nectar. It's all over the place. So this is a, a colony that's in its last stages of they're producing drones just to try to go out and propagate the 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 gene pool. Uh, uh, there, these genes out into the gene pool. So laying workers can only lay drones. There's no standard brood in here whatsoever. Here, you can see they tried to raise some um, emergency queens. And again, just scattered, a scattered pattern. These are all drones all over the place. There's no worker brood whatsoever. Another queen cup here. There's really no way to save this colony. It's 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 gone. So they they they're storing away nectar. They may cap it. I may grab it for another. Uh, here we have a queen a queen cup. So the difference between a queen cell and a queen cup is that a queen cup is empty. Queen cells. Uh, another like, torn up. Again, we just looked at this one. Broods all over the pit, all, all over the place. There's not a, a, a nice tight pattern. And I'm trying to see if I can find any eggs to show that you know, a whole bunch of yeah. See, this is crazy comb. This is what you want to tear out. Um, you can see where I tore out some stuff from earlier on and didn't take this on. It's just all wonky. Here we have a foundationless frame. So this is a frame that just has some popsicles in the top. Popsicles in the top to act as guide. The comb probably broke at some point, so it's not quite even. I was hoping the bees would go in and, and draw a comb over here and, and, and fix it and set it up right. But with a dwindling population going down, 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 they don't have the worker power to go ahead and get this going. So this colony is just going to dwindle out and die. Um, what I could do is go and shake these workers off somewhere, take all the frames away, freeze them, and scrape any crazy comb and let them just uh, get it ready for winter. I'm going to set it to the side for now and let it go. But just again, what do you see with laying workers? spotty brood pattern it's just all over the place and all drones which which one of these guy uh, ladies are laying workers as opposed to uh, standard workers or foragers I couldn't tell um, supposedly some of their abdomens are slightly more developed or, or longer but 
I wouldn't be able to see that normally. Yeah. So that's it. Just a, a colony that, for whatever reason, didn't raise new queen uh, on two different occasions. I'm hearing that about um, anecdotes of, about queenlessness in colonies. I'm sorry, we have a train going by. So we have, um, I, I'm hearing about queenless colonies around the uh, county. A lot of people are having issues, especially with uh, after swarms. So it's just one of those seasons. Keep aware, you know, if I was heavily invested in this colony, checking it more often, I would have caught the fact that it was queenless. I could have possibly taken more brood from one of my other production colonies and added a mated queen and gone that route. Um, but this was just an experiment for me to see what a, an after swarm will develop and how slowly or quickly it will develop. And it was a learning experience for me. So not a heavy investment in terms of equipment, in terms of money, in terms of bees. Um, it would have been nice mm -hmm. if it had turned out better. But again, this is just going. Um, just an experiment for me. So that's it from this colony. I need to go work the other colonies, but Ari has to head in. So thank you everyone for watching and hopefully we'll be back together in person soon.